What's going on everybody, Dato Doi here, and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at what some people are calling the best set in Dragon Ball Fighter's history, and personally I'm pretty inclined to agree with them. Now the entire set was absolutely insane, but in today's video we're only going to be taking a look at the last match. This is because one, the last match is definitely the most exciting out of the three, and two, I feel like the last match actually does a good enough job of showing what these two players' strength and weaknesses are th were throughout the entire set. So obviously knowing what those were should improve your understanding and appreciation for this third and final set. So before we get into the match, let's quickly cover what I felt those were. Uh, number one for Goichi is he was getting baited out by Leffen a lot. Every time Leffen would backdash, Goichi would take the bait and raw switch out, uh, expecting Leffen to continue pressure. Uh, Leffen was not having this, however, and punished Goichi on numerous... Uh, he basically punished Goichi a lot, is what I'm saying. Leffen, on the other hand, while being extremely dominant when it was 3 versus 3, started to falter when it just came down to Goichi's last character. It didn't really matter who this character was. Once Goichi hit the last character, Leffen started to really show some cracks in his offense. And I also personally thought that Goichi's defense really wasn't at the same level that we've seen him perform at in the past. He got hit by a lot of dragon rushes and got hit by a lot of mix-ups from Leffen that I think most of us would expect him to block. Alright, with those out of the way, I think you should be able to completely appreciate this final game uh, for the insanity that it is. Of course, before we start, down below in the description you'll find links to both these players' Twitters, as well as the Twitch page, the official Dragon Ball Fighters one, where all of the CEO action is going to be streamed. If I do everything right and get this uploaded on Sunday, uh, top 8 will be happening today, so definitely go over there and watch that. Alright, so it is currently 1-1, one to -one. this is the final game of the set, and Leffen wastes no time in getting in and making sure he gets that first hit on Cell, pushing Cell into the corner, where we're going to see the first aspect of this match. Leffen jumps up, continues the combo, and then once, once he gets that knockdown, you're going to see he does a backdash, waiting for Goichi to tag. Goichi, of course, has been hit by this numerous times at this point, so he doesn't go ahead and tag in there. But even then, Leffen sees that he's not going to fall for it, and instantly dashes back in and goes for a Dragon Rush, opening up Goichi and getting even more damage off of him. At this point, we're 20 seconds into the game and Goichi's cell is already looking pretty out of it. He does get a safe tag into Bardock though, which does secure his cell for a little while longer. After getting Leffen into the corner with his Bardock, Goichi has a perfect chance to show off some of Bardock's finest mix-ups in the corner. Uh, this is something you're really going to want to pay attention to, so watching what mix-up Goichi opts to go for here is extremely important to Leffen if he wants to continue to block these. This time around though, Leffen does get hit because Goichi opts to miss the heavy punch and go into a low right away. This catches Leffen into a combo. But I feel like in a strange way, this accidentally was a great thing for Leffen because after getting the hit, Goichi thought he could kill, which he could by the way. Bardock can kill from this range. But unfortunately, Goichi does drop the combo. This is a really bad thing for Goichi because level one sparking does not last very long. Uh, so Leffen, all he has to do is run out the clock, which he does do here. He's just gonna block, tag in, and his cell is just going to buy enough time for, uh, right as soon as the cell comes back in, Sparking goes away. So Goichi is at a huge disadvantage. After a basic combo here from Goichi, he does opt to go into the Solar Kamehameha for the hard knockdown. But again, Leffen still having a Sparking has no reason not to go for it here, as he knows that Goichi doesn't have one to contend with him either. So he pops in and is able to get out of the corner relatively stress-free. And now with Sparking on his side, he has every tool he needs in order to mix up Goichi and get the first hit, which he does. And this hit is going to be enough to get rid of Goichi's cell, which is huge in a tournament setting like this. Goichi's cell is an important part of his team, uh, which he just doesn't have anymore. So Leffen's use of sparking here was used very well, got him out of a sticky situation, and into a situation where he could knock out cell. The troubles don't end there for Goichi though, because he gets caught by a super dash from Vegeta, and he gets instantly put into the corner that he once had Leffen in. Uh, he does get knocked down, and now, now Goichi has to deal with some mix-ups here. Goichi does do a great job of blocking though, and using his Vegeta assist defensively to turn the situation onto Leffen. He does opt to DHC into Vegeta's final flash right away for the hard knockdown so he can run up on him. And this uh, does work out very well for him, because he's able to get Cell back out there, and once Vegeta comes in, he's able to land another Dragon Rush. While watching this live, this was really where Goichi started to take his offensive presence back. It just felt like everything was going for him here, but as soon as Leffen lands a hit, it's the situation's gone back uh, for him. Thankfully, due to some very quick reactions on Goichi's side, he's able to jump the command grab, and he's able to put the situation back into neutral. We don't stay in the neutral for too long, however, for after a quick scramble, Goichi is back into the corner, and with a good use of Andro's 21 assist to keep Goichi blocking, Leffen is able to cover up his movement somewhat and goes for an air dash into an overhead, which whiffs which allows him to quickly go into a low which catches Goichi off guard, and now Goichi is in a combo. 
After said combo, Leffen does opt to spend three bars on the Solar Kamehameha, again wanting to get that hard knockdown and get the Cell corner mix-ups. But Super Saiyan Vegeta does have a way out of pressure. Should he want to use it, it is pretty risky if they block it. Goichi does opt to go for it here and it works. And now he has Leffen in the corner, but here is one of the biggest mistakes Goichi makes all set. He goes into Bardock's level 1, completely whiffs it, and it kills his momentum here. I really have no doubt that he wanted a Bardock level 3 because it would have set him up perfectly for those Bardock mix-ups we were talking about earlier, especially after a level 3 Bardock mix-up game becomes insane. But unfortunately, that's just not what happened here for Goichi. Instead, Goichi gets hit by a perfect attack, and this is really where it looks like Leffen's just going to take the set away. It looks like he's just going to steal it. He hits Goichi with a numerous amount of perfect attacks. He's just running and trained on offense. And finally, when he has Bardock in the corner, down to his last leg, Leffen again opts to backdash, causing Goichi to panic, tag in Vegeta, and this is where we're going to see Leffen take advantage of this, knock him up instantly, and this is where and this is where Vegeta's going to go down here. It's at this point in the match where I, like many other people watching it live, thought Goichi was completely done for, he was going to be sent into losers here. His Bardock is working with like 35% health, it just didn't seem doable with the level Goichi was playing at currently. But of course, people wouldn't be calling this the best set of all time if Goichi just folded over here and lost. Of course, he's got to put in that work and make this comeback, so he's got to open up Cell instantly here with a dragon rush and instantly takes Cell out of the game. It's already looking a bit better for Goichi. After the Cell went down so quickly, you could actually start to believe Goichi could make this comeback, especially because he had seven bars that he could spend however he wanted. That of course didn't mean the comeback was likely, it just meant that the comeback was possible. That hope for a comeback was instantly dashed by the fact that Goichi got caught by an EX kick from Vegeta, leaving him with even less health than he previously had. At this point, any stray hit neutral would pretty much ensure that Goichi goes down here. It's at this point in the match, however, when Goichi has this little bit of health, that he ascends to an entire new level of play. This is not the same Goichi that was playing this game before, because he is going to block everything and anything. Any mix-up you can throw, I would not be surprised if you told me that Goichi flipped his switch on a stick that switched him to guard all mode and defense. You can see here that Leffen backs him into the corner, uses Android 21's assist, and opts to go for a random super dash to see if he can catch Goichi doing anything. Goichi, of course, being the gentleman that he does, does opt to go for something, that being a level 3 which catches Leffen right in the face. Oh man, this sets him up for a good hard knockdown mix-up afterwards too. The situation has now changed and now Goichi is on offense, but he doesn't want to do anything too risky that Leffen can punish with a simple light jab because again, if that hits, it's all over for Goichi. So instead, he opts to backdash, hit Leffen with a bit of his own medicine, which causes Leffen to stop blocking for just a second so that he can sneak in a Tyrant Lancer and knock out Vegeta. Things are starting to look really good for this potential comeback, but again, you have to remember that Android 21 is coming in. The best character in neutral by far in this game. The range on her normals are not to be underestimated, and in a situation where you only need two hits, I would even argue that Android 21 probably becomes the best character in the game. Here is a perfect example of Goichi doing everything he can on defense to secure his win. You'll see he blocks Leffen numerous times here, and then Leffen opts to go for the command grab. Seeing this, he reacts with a jump back. Most players in this situation definitely would have gotten caught by that. The defense doesn't even end there, as Leffen still has the advantage of having way more health than Goichi, so he can be riskier. Goichi has to take that into account, so Leffen continues his offensive pressure and goes for a dragon rush. Somehow, someway, Goichi is able to suppress the nerves of this situation and eat techs even that. Goichi does manage to hit Leffen with a super dash, which is going to even the playing field a little. Losing this amount of health is going to cause Leffen to want to ease up on his offensive pressure, which in turn allows Goichi to extend what he's able to do on offense a little. With Leffen now in the corner, Goichi again with his Bardock in the corner can do some insane mix-ups here. But, this is where I have to give credit to Leffen. He starts getting better at defense too. He's able to block all of this with no problem. And after this is the scenario that really sealed the deal for me. I, after this, I kind of knew Goichi was going to win. Goichi, after his Tyrant Lancers, opts to vanish behind Leffen. Now, at this point, Goichi could click a button. But if Leffen opts to backdash, he could catch him with his tail. So instead, what Goichi opts to do is cover the backdash, run forward. But in a split second, sees that Leffen is not going anywhere, opts to hold back instead. This happened so quickly, it's ridiculous. I don't know how he did it, but at this point I was expecting to look back at the player cam and see Goichi sitting there looking a little something like this. Uh, insane. After this, I really don't have too much to say other than Goichi was literally blocking everything. He got crossed up numerous times, challenged multiple dragon rushes. I'm just going to play the clip in its entirety so that you can appreciate what this man was able to do on defense. It's impossible. Oh no, he's out God. of court, but he does not get the frame advantage off the Vanus. Oh, what a challenge. How did he block that? He dashed forward. Oh! 
Watch it. Oh, oh the my God, the body is going to stop. Completely. Ah! Another run of existence. We are breaking the dragon rushes. There's 45 seconds left on the clock. And oh look, and Goichi has not let go of the back position on his stick. The Senzu beans are working overtime right now. It's only after a Super Dash class that Goichi gets the confidence to start going in. He gets numerous stray hits. I'm surprised he was able to keep his cool and not overextend here. But finally, in the end, he vanishes behind Leffen doesn't risk anything, just clicks a button, Leffen gets hit, and it's game over. Point, set goes to Goichi. Absolutely insane. Uh, Leffen played out of his mind, Goichi just played out of it. Uh, it's hard to explain, but these both of these players played out of their mind. Hopefully they both get to top eight. That would be insane to see a rematch after something like this. Let me know down in the comments below if you think this is one of the greatest sets of all time, or your just opinions on it. Whether or not you think you could have blocked everything Goichi blocked, uh, I know I certainly couldn't. While you're down in the comments, if you like this video and want to support this channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'll be down in the comments as always. I'm Dato Doya. I'll see you in the next video.